Smile now. All right, hold that pose. Smile. Tilt your head a little. Okay. My one-day stint as a Playboy photographer was, shall we say, one of the more interesting assignments I've had in a long time. My teacher is longtime centerfold photographer Pompeo Pozar. Pompeo had just modeled Cheryl's robe for just the right amount of revelation. When he's satisfied with the way she looks, he starts clicking away. She's not a professional model. Very few of the centerfolds are. The magazine strives for a fresh, unspoiled, ideal woman look. That look begins in the makeup department. The models come in with no makeup on. Makeup's applied a bit in the heavy side to stand up under the bright lights. Gail Cohen, who does the makeup for most of the Playmates, tries to accent the models' already very photogenic features. Cheryl looked just fine, with or without makeup. We then moved to the studio where I helped to select an outfit for the shooting session. Actually, it didn't matter all that much what Cheryl would wear because she wouldn't be wearing it all that long anyway. I thought that was all gilding the lily. She did fantastic things for a green bikini. As Cheryl went off with Gail to prepare for the pictures, I had a moment with Pozar to find out what this job is really like. You've got to enjoy this job. Huh? This has got to be the, one of the greatest jobs in the world. Don't tell. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody? Okay. Whether Cheryl will actually appear in the pages of the magazine is up to the editors. She's one of hundreds of women from all over the United States trying to become the magazine's 25th anniversary playmate. Along with that honor comes a check for $25,000, which answers the question, why are all these women doing this? I gotta admit, the thought of Playboy celebrating its silver anniversary makes me feel a little dated. Cheryl was only two years old when Pompeo Pozar started work as a staff photographer for Playboy that was back in 1960. Okay. All right, try up from here, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, you got a whole different perspective, sure. one thing. And not Walter Jacobson's perspective, either. Yeah. <laughs> I clicked, she smiled. I clicked, she smiled again. I hadn't even remembered to check whether there was film in the camera. I was beginning to enjoy this job. All right, now we want to use the backlight here. Sure. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, some people seem to think that I have the best job in the world. They are wrong. Pompeo Pozar does. At the Playboy building, this is Bob Wallace, learning to be a Playboy photographer for Channel 2 News. Good.